How are you teaching young creative professionals how to survive and succeed? Well, right now I'm teaching a course uh, at SVA. It's called Life Insurance. And I've been teaching them um, a lot about community, a lot about um, building a network of people that will support you. Um, something I actually personally haven't consciously done, but has happened to me. Um, I personally introduced my class to uh, directors of companies. Um, so you're, you're a 21-year-old student at SVA, and I'm introducing you over the semester to a minimum of eight uh, director founders of creative firms. And I encourage those people to um, talk about their careers and how they chose where they were. Now this is partially an immersion where um, you get to see a company it operating during operating hours. Um, you're meeting the person who started the company and you're getting this reflection on, okay, this is how this company works. Because a lot of times when you interview, you, if you interview a J. Walter Thompson, the first person you meet is not a creative person. You meet the HR director. And the HR director tells you about how the company is. But they don't actually work on the projects. Um, you know, this is kind of a walk-in and a handshake with the person running the show. And I think that gives students an insight as to, you know, potentially what, what companies are looking for. Um, I give them a real-world problem to solve, and I encourage them to solve that problem in the best way they can. And they stumble, and they fall, and they, they learn about all the tools that are available to them that may not be uh, to solve problems. Um, I teach them that I am there as a support system for them. And what problems are they facing? Well, I think there's kind of a disconnect between the skills that are, that are being taught at schools and, and actually what companies need. I just, you know, like the types of things that the communication skills, the email skills, the, like what it takes to work in a team environment and to get something done. Um, you know, my goal was to kind of help these students go beyond entry level. You know, can, can I, that's kind of my brief to myself, can I give these guys a, a better than internship experience mm -hmm. where they as a team, without executive leadership, solve a problem for a company, get a, a result that, you know, really helps the company they're working with, and can they leap past entry level? Could they through their experience in a six month period in this intensive, kind of grow enough where that when someone hires them, they want to pay them. And I'm still learning how to teach, so I'm kind of stumbling along the way. Um, but I've gotten really great feedback from my first semester of students. Um, you know, one of my students from my first class became a TA in my class. And you know she's helping me with pacing the class and making sure I'm not giving them too much work. Uh -huh. um, but it's really it's interesting. I mean, my students rebranded a restaurant in you know 15 weeks of class, and they did a lot of the work themselves. I mean, they built signage, they painted windows of the restaurant, they you know helped uh, make a website, they redid the menus, created a, a system for delivering emails, you know, a lot of stuff that you just wouldn't get from a regular class. Yeah. And it was kind of self-defining. As they saw a problem they wanted to solve it, they figured out an answer. And I think I'm trying to teach people independence or collaborative independence. Like, how, how do you, how do you def make your own system, I guess is what I'm teaching them. Hmm. Um,